Hi, I'm Nick Dawson, the editor-in-chief of TalkHeads Film. We're here for another live TalkHeads podcast from the flagship Sona store at 101 Green Street in Soho, NYC. I'm here with some distinguished guests, and they're not the first distinguished guests we've had. In pre previous Artist on Artist conversations, we've had uh, Bikini Kills, Kathleen Hanna, and Meredith Graves from Perfect Pussy, uh, Jonah Bear and Vanessa Bear, the sibling pairing. Uh, just a few hours ago, we had Taryn Killam and Kyle Mooney in here. Oh, wow. And we've also had Chris Gethard and Todd Barry. It's a pretty awesome, oh, also uh, Wayne Coyne from The Flaming Lips and oh, Prince cool. Paul, the legendary hip hop producer. So we're here in the, in the basement in Sonos. This is the Thurston Moore tape wall. Uh, if you come to the store at 101 Green Street, you can check out that. You can check out the awesome. What is the what is the significance here? These are his. These are his tapes that, that he, he, made. he has personally curated. This wall here, yeah. And you, anybody can come here and check it out. Uh, also, go upstairs, check out the awesome Sonos products, including the Sonos Playbase, which is uh, a system which brings you theater quality sound into your home as well as playing music. So, so today, you take them out from here. I don't think you can play them. Is it frowned upon to smash the glass and then just um, just take one out and then replace the glass maybe a week or two later when you yeah, have you'll the funds? Pay for it. I think that's yeah, happened no, maybe six or seven yeah. times, but it's it, it is frowned upon. But also, so. what it, it, okay. so he these you don't know what's on the tape, just the um, like the one that says W in in silver sharpie. Yeah, I believe that? that belonged to to the second George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't believe you. Yeah, I thought it was um, an off. So I'm going to quickly routine, intro you guys, okay. and then I'm going to recede into the background because uh, my jokes are just not quite up to snuff. So we have David Cross here, who is the Hello. man who links these two people together. He is, of course, best known for Mr. Show, uh, Arrested Development. With uh, I'm always going to get it wrong. David and Bob, Bob and David. Uh, it, yeah, Bob and David. Uh, yes, uh, the increasingly per, uh, choices but, of Todd and Margaret. But not Arrested Development with Bob and David. No, no. I no, like that show. It's Mr. Show. Yeah, that was a like failed. That. We did two of those, and it was a uh, yeah, strange those, I have to say. hybrid. I love those. Um, it was half animated. It was weird. <laughs> yeah, and then, of course, we can't forget the, uh, I mean, you know, he's writer, director, actor, stand-up comedian, and also... For, for our younger viewers, a, a fixture of the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies. Yes. Uh, Jean Grey, a, a longtime friend of David, as is, as is Fab here, uh, who is kind of is this unique creature who straddles the worlds of hip hop and the New York comedy scene, who's worked with everybody from Fairmunch to Most F, The Roots, uh, Herbalizer, and, and uh, I, as far as I know, is the only person so far to write erotic, erotic fiction about. VP candidate Tim Kaine. Tim Kaine. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's so, amazing. Yeah. It's I, called it's called Temptations. <laughs> yeah, and Temptations. That's, that's available yeah. from available oh, online for five dollars so and uh, and well worth. I'm gonna read. Yeah. Where you do should. we where do we uh, find that? Uh, I have a website called Pages of Glory, and it has <laughs> two uh, <laughs> two erotic tales. One is with Santa and the Grinch, called Santa's Gift. And the other is Tim. Gina, I had no idea. <laughs> a dirty no girl idea. is coming next. It's about a housewife and Mr. Clean. Wow. Right, okay. You're welcome. I, I, so I'm going to quickly intro <laughs> before this gets even more interesting. I'm going to intro Fab, who is of course the drummer from The Strokes, also a member of Little Joy and Megapus with Devendra Banhart, and and as we were just debating before, he is. Uh, a graphic artist, but but plays at it apparently. Wait wait so. wait wait wait! wait. I, I, I'm technically <laughs> I'm technically not a part of Megapus. Oh, you're not. I was just a guest on it. Okay. Well, uh, on the internet, you're a member of Megapus. Yep, so and also a really real. good artist too. Oh, yeah. uh, oh. Uh, see, this yeah. is what he was just quite using. impressive. Yeah. Uh, so I'm thanks. gonna let you guys talk. I'm gonna be over here, and I look forward to hearing what you discuss. All right. Cool. We're, all, we're you're all ears. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a weird American the, put down. All of you is ears. Yeah. You have very large ears. In case, whoa. Oh, hi. Wow. <laughs> In case you guys want that gum, it's back there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Good to know. Um, so before we get started, uh, fill us in on how we get our free, free stuff. Uh, do I have to go upstairs? Do I see? Yeah, okay. All right. That's There's also a wall out. of speakers over there, and mm -hmm. they said if you can, um, if you climb the wall, uh, as many as you can carry on the way down is how many you can keep. Oh wow, it's like Wonderama. Yeah, yeah. Do they still? Do you, did you? You're from here, right? Mm -hmm. From New York. Did you have Wonderama growing up? No. That's had, that's uh, that shows you how old I am. Did you had, have? What, you're from here as well. We had yes. Double Dare. Um, it was kind of like it was like a precursor to uh, Double Dare. Anybody out there? What know year is Wonderama? Wonderama at all? 
it's when I was a kid. So we're talking like 70s. Um, well, like late 70s? Then I'm in on that. It was it was a local New York thing. Uh, I remember Bob McAllister was the host, and and it was all kids. And um, um, I think their theme song was like "Kids are people too." Wackadoo, wackadoo, wackadoo. And they, they would there were these little games where you could go uh, uh, win prizes. And one of the games, this is why I'm talking about this, is they would put a bunch of stuff in the middle and as much as you could carry from that inner circle out to your chair, as long as you didn't drop anything, you, you could keep. And I remember one of the things was a blow up inflatable uh, Skippy peanut butter jar thing and oh. people would always go for them. Like, why? Do you Ooh. go for the small things? You, go for you the don't small go for the things. one you don't big go for the thing. Big things. It's like and the these claw are machine. Dumb kids. I'm sure they're all on Wall Street now. Less than uh, a, yeah, I was going to say. Still it's trying to grab that one big thing. Big, dumb, inflatable, and then everything else would fall. I don't, I don't remember um, one Durant. I guess that's the same. T- what is it like? Same time as like Romper Room and stuff? Yeah, but it was. Uh, it might have been after Romper Room. That, that's way, way, way back. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah, this would have been like early 70s, mid-70s, definitely in New York. I think it was on PIX, I think, Channel 11. WPIX? WPIX. I think so. Do you guys remember, um, we're all connected? No. No. (laughs) But... That was lovely. Yeah, they loved it out Thanks. there. Anybody out there? Was the show called We're All Connected? No, I was going to say, I didn't want to give it away because it's the end. But you guys don't remember We're All Connected? Sing more of the song. <laughs> New York Telephone. You remember? Oh. <laughs> yes, he, he, you remembered. Oh. All right, you so, guys, wow. so it's like, uh, it's like a phone company. Yes, uh, I got that from the that New York it, telephone part. Good, good. I'm do you, glad. Do you remember, um, uh, again, this is my childhood, but the, uh, uh, I don't know how long it went for, but um, Big Blue Marble, anybody? The world's a big blue marble when you see it from out there. And there's like a photo of the world from the moon. What was the uh, show? That's awesome. Some, big Blue Marble. No, like, I, uh, yes, Carl no, what Sagan happened? Oh, it was a kid's that. show that, uh, that taught... Um, it taught you how to like um, hold balls. Um, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it taught you, you know, things that you need to know when you're a kid, uh, um, and as well as uh, hacking, how to hack, how to uh, hack. Uh, <laughs> bank systems, like computer systems. But as it got I older, I would have watched um, that show. Uh, yeah, it was. It was just I remember it from being a kid. But I, it's it's foolish to keep going down this road of nostalgia. No, this I'm is the whole show. This is older just... and. You're not going to remember I don't feel stuff. like that. I'm, I'm 40. All right. Well, I'm markedly older. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's fine. You don't have to rub it in. Gene. No, it's, it's fine. I'm sorry. Although I don't take offense to it. I don't know why I would say rubbing it in. I'm fine. I didn't it. feel like you did. Fine with my age. Uh, it's been good. I got a couple years left. And uh, I'm going to live them to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to my fullest, and uh, we'll see. We'll th- are you see going what into? Happens. Are you going into a home? Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> putting myself in a home. That's uh, good. There's, I want to get in, kind of soonish, because uh, it'll give me an advantage on scoring so much of that elderly pussy that I'm looking <laughs> for. That's how I'm going to live out the end days. Just get, but I mean, just literally, the last like four, like forty years. Like I'm going into the home soon. Uh, as soon as my kid turns two, I'm going in home, check myself in, and then just. I'm, I'm glad that. that you're going to be there at, un, until two. I, I know. That's, those are really the important yeah, years. Yeah. You want to. Uh, I'm trying to instill in her enough of my philosophy, my ethics and morals, you know, subconsciously, as it were. Um, I want to. I want to ask you this because you're you're raising a kid in New York. I was raised in New York. You're raised in New York. Yes. But you said something earlier, and I always get fascinated. So you biked here. I did. Which is good. I feel like a lot of people know how to ride a bike, mm-hmm. but I always get fascinated when people who grew up in New York know how to ride bikes. How? Where did you learn how to ride? Can you ride a bike? Uh, yeah. Oh, you're saying because there's no See? place. Kind she's, saying, no. she's saying because there's it's no place. It's not a weird to, question. That's f- really no, weird. Can not. I ride up? Do I know how to ride a bike? It's a valid question. No, it's like not. there's no place to practice. Yes. You're saying. I get it. 
No, you I thank it? you, I still Fab. Don't get it. No, thank you, David. I still, I still. He, he learned upstate. I'll answer for him. No, See. wait. You're talking about a bicycle. Yes, a bicycle. A <laughs> bicycle. Yeah, I, I, that's uh, the the oddest question it's statement not. I've heard in weeks. Does does everyone in here know how to ride? Are a, you trying a to a say you don't? You, do you know how Every to ride a bicycle? Every single person is uh, answering affirmatively. Do Do you know how to ride a bicycle? No. Well, hold on. So, I did. My dad taught me. I, I rode a bike. Um, but I, there was never anywhere to ride. Like, I grew up on 23rd Street. Like, where am I riding a bike? That's crazy. So, uh, well, and then, why don't you just go to the west side and, you know, there's plenty of space out. On, as a on, child? Like, just, no. Yeah, well, I'm assuming if your dad... Every... So, you must be... Uh, I amazed. realize this is a very small. You must be minority. amazed when you see children riding a bike. I am. D- and ha- has it ever? Did, have you ever taken that thought further, or do you, do you stop at his ma- amazement and go, "Holy, no. I don't know how that's possible." No. Oh well, we're going to go only no, in America. No, 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 or do you, no, no, no. Or do you ever think beyond that and go, "Well, there's probably I, a reason." Let me think, and then come to the conclusion like, "Oh, I guess there's a place in New York City." No, I understand that people can learn how to ride bikes because I see people riding bicycles. Um, I tried, I got a bike again, maybe about like five years ago. And I was like, and everyone's like, oh, because the saying is like, it's like riding a bike. You never forget, which is a lie because you do forget because I had forgotten how to ride a bike. And so, and it was terrifying. Was your dad available at the time to come back? No, unfortunately not. Do you have a father figure in your life at this point? That yeah, but I feel like that and... would be weird. What about like, this? It would be weird, like dude, but it wouldn't know, be weirder like, than not to... knowing how to ride a bike. No. That's I, the weirdest part. I feel like part. this is fine. And I, I want like... I, I went and I got the bike and I took it into the like the store and I'm like, can you put training wheels on this? How does this thing work? <laughs> I asked for training wheels and they thought it was a weird thing. You're, and I was like, this is like, what's wrong with that? That's like insane clown posse. Uh, uh, that logic. is a very big jump to that's, go to like Juggalos. <laughs> well, I'm no, I'm talking about their song of you know magnets. Magnets. How do they work? Do they work? You know, yeah, uh, bicycles. How do they work? The thing about science. Yeah, like that's it's in that world of like head scratching. Now. And f- and you grew up here, and you where'd I you did. learn to ride a bike? Uh, upstate. See? God damn it, you spoiled <laughs> bike. No, but here's the thing. Act. City bike. It's this wonderful thing. Yeah. It's called, like, they've reworked the roads, and there's it lanes. Is, it is much more bike-friendly now than it's it It's bike-friendly. I'll take you, you out. I, Let's go after this. You don't want to do this. Yes, I do. You don't want to do oh, this. You don't I want do. to be in You can go to the east side or the west side, and there's plenty of space where you can... Central where I can Park? hurt myself. Central when I, Park? Where I can injure myself. Yeah, where you can fall down. It's how, I don't want to fall how down. people uh, ride bikes. That's yeah, which I, I don't like that about it. But now you're, you have... All right. I don't know what to... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to... I, I, maybe fab, fab... We're going to ride. Yeah. That is a very tempting way to say it. Um, I'm going to tell you now. Still. Bummer. So I yeah so I, I just you, you don't want you don't want to learn how to ride a bike because it entails possibly potentially falling down a couple times. Yes. Also and but like poss- down, potential death oh, at a high please, speed. Pot- no. Well, which is also why I don't drive a start, car. You're not I don't know how to start drive. on a ramp. We're not you know that's how, you just go and, I and you get a father figure to push you. A little I don't bit. want this. I don't. You keep bringing up this father no fa- figure. <laughs> He'll, uh, um, he'll, he'll run alongside you with a GoPro. It's going to be great. You're going to run back. You're going to download the video. You're going to look at it and go, here's where, I, here's where I made a mistake. This is what, was, this is what worked. And then take it from there. You, you already have tools that the young Jean Grey didn't have at her disposal. Yeah. No? All right. I built a go-kart once, and uh, I forgot to put brakes on it. <laughs> what? You pull a so me, you, you remember Matt Romano, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to the How top. How's Matt? He's good. Good. Uh, thanks for asking. Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. Good dude. Do you remember he was dressed up as uh, Baby New Year? I vaguely have vague memories of that. We played a show together, mm-hmm. and it was New Year's at the Apollo. Oh, one of the worst experiences of my of my professional career. One of the best for me. <laughs> yeah, everyone loves, <laughs> did you, everyone loves did you ruin his disaster. New Year? 
What no, happened? no, they were fine. They were oh. actually. Uh, uh, you were nice, amazing. But no, I, it was. What awful. happened? It was great. It, it, it was. <laughs> just, it was honestly. He's just saying that it was not great. Fab. It was not great. I, I if, opened if and I knew and I also said no initially like three times and and then kind of got talked into. Uh, a terrible idea, which was opening up for the Strokes and Guided by Voices at the Apollo, and on New Year's, and um, awesome. nobody. This is a, this is a, that's so an good. interesting combination they, they of wanted, a lot of things. They, initially, they're like, "Yeah, you come out and do like 15 minutes in between." We're like, "Are you out of your fucking mind?" There, are all these people who want to see a band who don't want to see a comic. Yeah, and, and it's New Year's, and it's New Year's, and they gave out fucking noisy yeah. thing. You what, know, things to make did, noise. What time did the show start? Oh, I don't know. Because people are that already was a drunk. To put the thing with the noise. That was <laughs> yeah, a no, that's a bad it idea. It was it was uh it was rough. And then a guy is a whole separate thing that I'm not even gonna go into. Uh but a guy later, uh like a couple years later, uh I was at a show, uh in fact it was super drag at, at uh Maxwell's in Hoboken and a guy peed on me because I what? he was Wait, on from mushrooms. Where? Where? Uh, from where? It's from the from the we were it was a packed thing. He and peed I, up? Wow, that is a he peed lot down. Of jettison. Oh he peed down. Oh, no, no, no! I was. I'm sorry. I was in the audience. I oh, went to go okay, see. Thank you I went for to go see Super Drag, I and I was like, "How did he?" And I felt this like project? warm, like, "What's going on?" On the back of my leg, and uh, and initially I thought, "Oh, somebody spilled something," and then it was persisting, and I looked back, oh. and this guy's peeing on me oh, my because. God. And then uh, uh, it was the last sucks. fight I got into, and I, it's it's uh, my takeaway from the entire evening, which was crazy. Um, this fight kind of spilled outside is what a shitty fighter I am. Um, it was comical. Like I was like jumping up trying to kick, you know, <laughs> and I, uh, he was tall. It was much did taller any, than did, me. Did, did, did the kicks connect? One did, uh, but it was all, it was just a pathetic, uh, and I was like swinging up at him and like kind of jumping and swinging and, uh. Oh God, uh, I have those so dreams. Nice. It was so, I, I have those dreams so where awkward. I'm fighting a guy and it's just like. <laughs> yeah. You can't do any can't damage do at yeah, all. It's terrible. It was, Not that it my was real, like that. My, like I, I got into a couple of fights because like you either hated the strokes or you loved the strokes. And uh, I was not very good at fighting myself. It's astounding that somebody can be so angry with your face music that they want to beat you up. That's a, a strange. Yeah. And and sad. more so with uh, with uh, like on on social media wise when people reach out and especially because it can be done anonymously now. Yeah. Like they can be really just angry about. But it gives you an songs. idea that all these people had before social media. There were all those people. They didn't you know just magically. Uh, uh, you know, it come into life no. when social media started. These are people, everybody prior to social media, all those people walked around with those thoughts and that anger in them and and those, you know, like, fuck, the, fuck, fuck those fucking assholes. Like, yeah. fucking, the, you know, they think they're this or whatever, you know. Uh, like, all those people walking around with that, those thoughts, that sour bitterness. But wait, you know? so you think it's better now that they have a way to... I don't think it's better. I, I think they're... I just am making the, the observation that all those people existed prior to social media. Totally. So, yeah. you know, now you can go, boy, there's a lot of shitty anger, awfulness, uh, non-critical <laughs> thinking out there and uh, and just mean spirited people and 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 you just know that all those people existed prior to that just walking around with her except they weren't like i don't think that they were ignited like there's yeah. m mimetic patterns that like you know in uh, like meme style like richard dawkins style like where if you start to say something enough people will like for example like <laughs> i wanted to get a holden caulfield hat for winter mm -hmm. you know and then i got one and every motherfucker had a Holden Caulfield hat. And I realized, like, the, there are patterns w that uh, people, like, we think the same way once one of us thinks that way or says something. And now that mm -hmm. the conduit for thought is that much more lubricated. Well, yeah, there's, we that, there's that Malcolm Gladwell book about the, that has um, the innovators and the creators mm -hmm. and the, the followers. And uh, I don't know if I'm getting the categories right, but it's like, when Fab Moretti wears a certain hat, then people are going to see you walking down the street and go, I'm going to get that hat. 
Or I was the I was I was the follower, I think. But the thing is, is like still those those. Well, you owe somebody out there a a debt of gratitude. (laughs) Yeah, I have. Yeah, but the the the, but what I'm saying is like now with hate and stuff like that, it seems like there's a way for it to like. The, the yeast to well, it's get bigger. it's also mm-hmm. it's it's the feeling of belonging too. These a lot of people who are have these thoughts and are just sour, shitty people, and maybe don't have a ton of friends and aren't the most social people, and uh, and you know have uh, for whatever reasons in a in a in a linear cause and effect way have uh, just uh, uh, shittier lives and. Um, and they're bitter and jealous, and then it gives them a way to connect to all those other people. Yeah. And then they and strengthen can be, their argument. Yeah, and become self righteous that way, and and righteous within that community, and um, and I that's the that's part of the danger of social media. It gives all these people like a club, a frat for them to to you know build their anger and their yeah. identity of yeah. just being shitty, hypercritical, uh, ugly people. Assholes. Yeah. Well, well, that this, was a good uh, interview, you guys. <laughs> it took a turn for Really took a dip. Dower. <laughs> Sorry about that. He was like warning me with his eyes before. He was like, you Richard Dawkins? What? No, <laughs> don't do this. Don't go down that road. <laughs> don't do this, He's man. Like, Memetic? What? <laughs> David, why us? Uh, for You mean for right now? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, if you want to do well, it in general. because I... No, you wanted a. You're lacking a speaker for your left channel, and I thought, this what better true. way to get you a speaker? Thank you for the left channel. It's the right um, one. Now. Uh, Fab, I this this thing goes back to the gum. Uh, mm-hmm. What I call the gum incident of seventeen, summer of seventeen, and uh, you know, uh, I. Fab doesn't know it now. I'm gonna kind of give it all away. Sorry. But I uh, am. This is gonna be awkward. But I am. Uh, uh, I'm nefarious. One seventeen. I'm your fan who is always in touch with you. Oh, I'm nefarious. One seventeen. Yeah, yeah. So when I log shit. on, that's it. So I've been following that. So all the you stuff about the gum. I know about the asshole. gum. Wow. Well, okay. But I did this so that you could get the gum. <laughs> Uh, this isn't and, weird for me at all. But you know what's you know what I'm realizing now as I have I'm saying this is that nobody listening to this uh, was in on the whole gum talk, which happened no, prior to them turning the microphones and the mm-hmm. cameras on. So it's a or did it's, it? <laughs> it didn't. Oh, okay. And so it's a kind of like an inside joke just for us that I didn't intend to be inside and for you all sitting out there. Mm-hmm. Um, so apologies for the last uh, roughly 100 and 110 seconds um, mm-hmm. because it's a reference to something that we all... We discussed as a group and, um, and don't want to discuss again. Am I correct? Yeah, no. Okay. No reason to bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, they'll just have to fill in the blanks themselves. What's, what's all this about Fab and his gum? Would you there like some gum, David? No, I don't. We discussed <laughs> this earlier. <laughs> I don't. Anybody outside want this? Uh, Sad little piece of mystery gum. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Fab brought in. It's just, it's just gum, and it's sealed. We don't know if it's just gum. My that's girlfriend gave me that gum. It's New York. Come on, there's. It's not from the street. Well, how do you know? It's not street. Did, Where did you, you get did it? Did you pick it up off of the, the floor? street? The street. Oh. See, <laughs> it's still sealed. Fab's. He's got uh, uh, this kind of. Uh, 19th century London street urchin quality to him. <laughs> Super sweet, kind, naive, very, but a little, yeah. And uh, But he will, it's not beyond him to just pick up a piece of gum on the street mm. going, Oi, mate, gum. somebody's wasting this gum, eh? <laughs> yeah, and then pop in his mouth and just mm-hmm. go on his merry way and then uh, go re-audition for Newsies. And... Um, uh-huh. There you go. Not get the part. <laughs> Not get the part again. Sorry. Sorry. It's how many how many auditions has it been now? <sighs> they have they shut the show down years ago. He's still auditioning. It's, it's 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 sad. I mean, it's cool. I admire the 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 you know never say die attitude. It's it's you know uh, inspirational. But they did shut the show down um, years ago. The movie failed. Mm-hmm. It was neither oh, a critical. Oh, that's not true. It did. It was neither that's a critical nor uh, 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 
you know, popular it's, it's, success. It's it's uh, it's iconic. Yeah, but for not being very good, being a bad idea uh, that somebody spent tens of millions of dollars was, on. Was Christian Bale in it? Uh, he was the lead newsie. He was... Uh, he newsie was, one. Uh, newsie number one, yeah. Uh, and he was he's the guy who said, hey... You snoozy, you loosey, and then that is um, a lie. <laughs> no, it was it wasn't a good movie. It wasn't a good line. It was wow. a terrible script. Iconic though, but yeah. Um, and then the sequel to Newsies. Who's the guy that picked up the gum? Uh, Little Fab. <laughs> was, uh, that's why it was so distressing that you couldn't get the part that that's was terrible. basically inspired by you. In oh, I think I found some gum. <laughs> oh, I might. Here's a piece of chewy dewy. <laughs> If I don't say so myself. And they pop it in Is with he a grown up? It up. <laughs> He's a grown up pretending to be a kid. He's trying to See, infiltrate that might the have newsies. Been the problem. He's trying to infiltrate the newsies. Is this newsies too? Um, this is uh, second newsies. page. Newsies too. You snoozies, you losies. Oh wow. Um, and uh, which is weird because everybody hated that line, mm-hmm. but then it became so iconic. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's about a bunch of go-getting newsies who. Uh, um, you know, take over their kind of area, and then they find out that uh, Mr. Biggles, who does the uh, runs, pardon, uh, Mr. Biggles does the uh, the newsstand and uh, the big corporate news paper, um, which is the New York Times. It, although in the movie, it's supposed to be represent the New York Times. Mm-hmm. In the movie, it's called the Jew York Times. Okay. And, uh, um, it's, that's why it never played in Israel, and yeah. uh, I remember so they that. try to save. So uh, F- Lil Lil Fab tries to infiltrate the newsies and become the head newsie so he can rescue Mr. Biggles. Uh, New- news- kiosk. Y- kiosk, yeah, kiosk, yeah, yeah. So it's about it's kind of like so it's kind of like break into Electric Boogaloo. It meets but Schindler's not. List, yeah, yeah yes, okay. yes, exactly, yeah. Uh, with music. Wait, wait, yeah. yeah, so they... Mm-hmm. So, they so you know, all, the, and it was written by the same guy, all the who musical... Wrote a, who, who wrote Break Into Electric Boogaloo? And Schindler's and List. Schindler's and Schindler's List, the same person. All the musical numbers cut out of Schindler's List when they decided to just make it a straight-ahead drama... They took all those musical numbers and put them into New- Snooze Easy Loosey. But in rap form. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's, it was really groundbreaking. And it you was. can see why Fab wanted to be a part of it. And uh, and And someday, you know. Someday. Yeah. Yeah, so you've, you've abandoned, um, I guess, that sort of uh, musical... Rap breakdancing life for he's still, something he, else? He, never. He's never. still doing he's still still do it. You want to see it? He's still, a little I'd bit. I'd love to, yeah. Here, I'll take this. There's not enough S- sorry, stuff. podcast. Um, yeah, we're going to... This is a visual thing. Do you need thing. us to move or... Here, give it... Let me... Uh, Do you need more gum? Take out. <laughs> Do you need me to get on the turntable? Wait. Yeah, if you could. Oh, all right. Oh. Sorry. All right. Just, okay. Okay, will you hold this? Please? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just... Okay. All right. Gene, you're going to... Just a little, a, a little watch bit of... Watch out the glasses. A little bit of... Give me a count. One, two... Three, no, no, no. four, five, six, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh you're starting. Oh. One, <laughs> two. That was good. Oh. That was yeah, no, I felt that. All right, you guys. All right. Thank you very much. That's and what that's, I do every time. That's pretty good. That's exactly I, I wish you what you did seen at that, that Newsies audition, huh? I wish you could have seen yeah. that. Yeah. Now everybody's gathered. Uh, what's happening over here? Everybody's gathered in front of the uh, computer. They're just looking at Facebook. Is it Minecraft? Oh, yeah. All right. Are they playing Minecraft? Yeah. Well, I guess that's it. Like after someone, that's the saying. Like after someone break dances in an uh, interview, we, where do you go from there? Then you, you end it. Fab Moretti break dance in the. Well, you guys have to fire me now, or not? I'd like to fire you, but then rehire you at twice the salary. Great. <laughs> yeah. How about that? <laughs> how about that? Wow. It's, uh, this is my day. I knew I was picked up the good gum. Yeah. Have you ever been fired from anything? Like I, I, the last job I can remember having I was I might have been like nineteen. I got fired. Yeah, I got fired from that job. What'd you get stories. fired from? Light the lights. What? What is that? It's a frozen yogurt place. <laughs> light the oh, lights. Light the lights. I, I thought you said, said like light. the light. Oh, I thought no. you said light the light. Yeah, light yeah. the lights. Light the lights. Light the lights. Light the lights. Where was that? That was on 33rd Street. I, I, do you remember that place? Yes, I do. They played 
upside inside out, living la vida loca. Oh, all like, day? On repeat. <laughs> How did, is that why you got fired? Did you just freak out and like, I kick everything quit. over? Oh. I quit, but like I wasn't allowed to quit. Cause was it one I of those, on you can't books. fire me, I quit things? Or I guess, I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. But why? Why were they going to let you go? What, what were they having an issue with? Uh, just my general dude. Yeah. Your yeah. dude. <laughs> I was just no good. How old were you when you got? I was nineteen. Yeah, and then after that, was that it for like I you got the last on my job? Bike and I got the fuck out oh, you of got there. on your fucking bike. Oh, fuck you then. <laughs> How are you no good at uh, serving yogurt? It wasn't so much the yogurt; it was the chicken in the chicken salad that I couldn't. They cut. They had chicken Ooh. salad. Yeah. It was well, nasty. I don't blame you. Huh. Chicken salad flavored yogurt. No, 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 no. The, the yogurt. Part. I mean, kale. I guess we would. People have kale now. Dude, I don't know. look yeah. it up. There was like. Was it a topping for the yogurt? No, 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 no. <laughs> Be like, oh, I want a little bit of Oreos and then <laughs> some chicken salad. A little bit of chicken salad. Thank you. Um, I'll get some of that. Uh, let me get some bread yogurt and put some mayonnaise on that. And then, do y'all have chicken <laughs> salad? Us. Of course. Why am I even asking? There it is over there. I see it myself. I'll go get, I'll help myself. What'd you get fired from? You ever gotten fired? Uh, yeah, I'm sure, but let me think. Oh, yes, of course, yes. Uh, uh, Palmer and Dodge, a uh, uh, law firm. Um, I was a messenger in Boston, and I got fired. Uh, uh, just cumulative insubordination type stuff. And, um, and I won a, uh, what do you call it? Well, they... they a raffle. A raffle. <laughs> After yes. they fired you. Embarrassing no, they, for they, them. I took them. They they were going uh what did they Fishing. stop payment on <laughs> like my checks doing, right? and then and then I got a I like I can't remember the exact thing, but uh a, a paralegal there who liked me, who had m- moved on from there, uh worked there and then moved on, but we remained friends and I'll represent you in uh, you know, your employment thing whatever is this real yeah this is real so i ended up going and and louis ck uh who was uh louis and i were roommates at the time and um i woke up is this a movie yeah is this real this is for real i woke up uh is this a movie called for late, real uh for reals <laughs> and um he had to drive me down there and we were like uh it was like one of those things where i was up until like five in the morning and then i was supposed to be there at eight and i was really hung over st- reeked and you're in a tiny room like literally half the size of this room it was just one of those things like in a movie where it's, you go into this door and there's a table a couple chairs Knock put it over. put a, a, a tape recorder on hit hit play or record and it was a, a like a negotiator guy and the guy who had fired me um mr jenkins um uh, and myself, and I had everything that I was supposed to say from mm-hmm. my friend Drew, who was the paralegal, and I ended up winning, and uh, I, w- I got like $2,200, which is to that, it was the most money I'd ever had in one time. Uh, what did you do Before I started working in, in Hollywood. Um, I used it to uh, to move out to because this kind of happened as I was uh, getting ready to Atlanta? leave. No, this is in Boston. Oh, living shit. leaving Boston to go to L.A. and I was careful not to spend anything in case I didn't get it. Um, and I used it to move out to L.A. Basically. Oh wow! Yeah. That was a- when I never did you had leave that Atlanta? Story. I was nineteen. Uh, I stayed there for a year after I graduated high school. And worked, did stand up, and worked at uh, Domino's and a Pizza Hut, and at the um, same time. No. <laughs> oh God, no. Oh, they wouldn't have that. No. <laughs> oh no. But you, you know, you mentioned the La Vida Loca playing at the uh, uh, Tasty Delights uh, or whatever it was called, Light Delights. Delights. But when I was working at the Pizza Hut, and I want you to picture nineteen-year-old Jufro, and you had to wear like the this? visor. Oh no! Times ten, like full on Jufro, and the they at Pizza you have to wear that little um, oh, yeah, pizza topless visor, visor yeah. thing, Dude, and my, so my head awesome. was ridiculous with glasses. And I'm in, <laughs> That's I'm a cool in Georgia. I'm in Georgia. I'm in like that north shit. of Atlanta. I'm like in uh, uh, Moore's <laughs> Mill, behind Collier Park. If anybody knows Atlanta, who's listening to this, and um, and 
I had to wear that like polyester outfit to go uh, walk. It was like a, about a mile ish. So you swished in the <laughs> yeah with chains when my when my. Um, you sound like an extra Fat Albert character. <laughs> it was very much like would have fit <laughs> right in with that with uh, my polyester pizza hut <laughs> outfit with be- bulging with chains from uh. my tips and um and that big poofy hair and my shitty glasses and uh, um and. But the the song that was popular that everybody would always play, and it was, they had a jukebox there, and I'd listen to it over and over again. I can't remember the name the name of the guy, but it was country western because you know it was Georgia, and it was this song like uh, where swinging it, it was the metaphor for sex. So it was like. Me and I can't remember the name of the song. Well, we's just a swangin'. Down, 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 down. Oh, we's just a swangin'. Down. And we had to listen to it over and over again about Jenny Sue or whatever. And he'd go over to Jenny Sue's and the parents were out of town. So he he and Jenny Sue would get in the swing and swang. Just a swangin'. Down, down, down. And everybody loved it because it was, you know, titillating. It was a fun way to think about fucking. And you definitely know. not about, like, uh, did she just had a large swing at her house? Well, she did, but then it's you know it's implied that they did some things on the swing, on the swing. that were you know it's a double meaning versus you, know, you uh-huh. can swing, but you can also swing. Me, she, she and I got down. We was, were are those swinging. lyrics? No, no, no. but <laughs> just a swing. And remember that was the chorus. I heard it over and over again. And I have a scar um, from that, that song. <laughs> from the this right here is. Uh, a little scar right there. I was um, had leaning on the counter, the pizza, and they had come out, just come out with those personal pan pizzas. You get it five minutes or less, or it's or it's free. And they had the pepperoni and the meat lovers and the plain. And uh, you take them out with these clamps, and the oven would be, you know, they were in these like metal, you know, uh, cylinder mm-hmm. pie Plates. pie things, and you know, about yay big. And I was sitting on the uh, leaning on the counter, talking to somebody, and the guy took the thing out of the oven, and he slid it down and you could hear it it like seared my flesh you could oh. you could just hear it sizzle um even as i you know wrenched my hand away but um and Do i remember you sue for that? did you get fired yeah. from a job um yes um, I decided that I was going to do, and I'd had like waitressing jobs and bartending jobs, but i was really bad at both of those things um because kind of going back to the bike situation um, I don't like anything that like involves like like action where I have to balance things. So I was bad at that. Yeah, we're getting yeah. We're getting no, you're getting more, somewhere. You're starting yeah. to really understand who I am. Um, so I decided to take a job as a phone sex operator. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, and which was actually my catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been. It really should have been. Um, get the fuck get out. Get the of fuck town. out. Of town. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, so I got, I'd never really got to do it because the first day they, uh, they hire you and they have to monitor you like a, a couple of phone calls. And you, you had to go to them and work in a, out of an office or yeah, something? Yeah, this is, uh, 90, and 90 something. So yeah, this is like in an office. This is not, you know, me wow. being at home. And, uh, so yeah, you're, you're there and there's someone monitoring you like in the next cubicle. Can you hear, can you hear the other yeah. women? Yeah. Oh, weird. But the yeah. person monitoring you is making sure that you're like, like saying like that I'm right, doing a good, cool, I'm doing like, a, like I'm getting, I'm getting people to fuck off and I'm not being an asshole, which, um, didn't work out well cause I was an asshole. Uh, so, um, so, is it, Gene, sorry to interrupt. Is that yeah. one of those things where you want to keep them on the line or do you, you want to keep turn them on the over line. as many as possible? No, you want so to keep, keep them on the line because it keeps cha-ching, charging cha-ching, by, cha-ching. Yeah, got it, got it charges it. by the okay. minute. And, you know, you want to keep them entertained and, you know, you, yeah, you don't want it to go too okay. fast. You want them to swang. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> swang. that was I want, them, I want them to swang uh, and I want them to swang for a long time. So, okay, so how would you best achieve that? Um, it, it, I didn't get to find out. Hmm. Um, I thought I would be great for it, and uh, I'm like, this this seems like a wonderful job, and I get to just hang out here and, and fucking talk shit all day, and that's fine. Um, but the first guy uh, was really rude and uh, hung up on me, and I called him back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. 
and cursed him out. Yes. And but like halfway through the phone call, like of me calling him back, she like the whoever was in charge of manager, I I don't remember what she, she came over and she was like, "You have to hang up the phone. You have to hang." I was like, "You just hold on, hold. I know I'm gonna leave right after this." Did he have to I'm pay for leave. that call when I called him? Yeah. No. Well, that you know, been I think it's that been I think it's uh, um, really uh, uh, it's got to be frustrating that you assume you have this skill and you didn't even get to I didn't get to, to showcase tr- it. to showcase it and then we're here now we've got some audio equipment yeah. we got some folks we here do. so why don't why doesn't everybody kind of turn close away their close their eyes or turn away yeah, yeah. and Gene let's let's give you the chance let's give you the shot but let's to do what you never got the, the same opportunity. Room. Let's pretend you well, and I are in the same room. Someone has to yes. call me. Okay. I'm not just going to talk to myself. All right, so F- Fab and I are calling you. All right, so we're on the same line. But oh, you're on a conference call? Yeah. No, no, not conference, but we're on the same landline. And line, we have no lines. pants on. Right? Yeah, we have no same... pants on. You're, but we're are in, you calling in... from the same house? Wait, look, let, let, yes, we're calling from the no, same. I need to know the situation. Apartment. I'll ask you you're questions when you get on the phone. It's more than you would know. I'll ask you questions when you get on the phone. Okay. All right, ready? You ready to call? So right, ready. Dude. All right, so dude, you look so hot this is right your now. Brother's, this is your brother's credit card, right? Yeah, okay. my mom's. Sorry, your, your mom's credit card. Yeah, oh, shit. All right, well, I, they don't put it on as a sex line. It comes up as something else, like cool. you know, international, you know, That's studies. Fine. Right. All right, here shit. we go. Oh, by the way, it does it, um, come up as a sex line. You're not on the phone. I just wanted to tell you that as a fact before okay. we started. It's ringing. It's ringing. It didn't. That's too many numbers. Can you oh, dial shit. it again? <laughs> yeah, you got it wrong, dude. Okay, let me just look at it. 1-800-899-SEXX. Okay, here we go. <laughs> hello? Oh, shit. Are you going to do it? You, you got it. Hey, hello, baby. Hello? Hi, hello? baby. Hi. Oh, hello. Hey, hi. How's it going? I'm what's going on fine. over there? What? What's What's going on with you, babe? Uh... Nothing. We're. I'm, I'm just. Uh, I'm just. Uh, you know, looking for a good time, and I'm not. I'm new to the area, and uh, um, what are what's what are you what are you about? What are you wearing? Yeah. Um, I'm wearing whatever you want me to wear. What would you like me to wear? Um, um just to let you know, though, I, I do have on a, sh- a shirt with with a picture of a unicorn on it. Do you like that? Yes. Is that a child on the phone? Because I can't. No. I can't talk to children. <laughs> I'm sorry, hon. Are, 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 no, are there two uh, no, of you there? Uh, right now? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was a. Uh, hey, what's that what's was my f- penis talking? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. So you've got a talking penis. I like that. Uh, what's what's your talking penis's name, baby? Uh, George Washington. Okay, George Washington. Ooh. That's still my penis talking. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, does does your penis have wooden teeth? He yeah, doesn't have yeah. to. Okay. Uh, for only for you. Yeah, that that turns me on. I, I love a wooden tooth penis. So so, baby, what would you like to talk about today? You and your your wooden penis. Hi, Georgie. Uh, unicorns. 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 <clears throat> unicorns. Uh, like the kind that are on your sure. big old big old T-shirt. Uh, oh. Or not big. I mean, I don't mean this shirt. No, I mean, it's, 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 no, it's fine. It's it's, act- it's, it's it's actually an oversized shirt. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of bloated this month. So, um, but thank you, thank you for noticing. Uh, do you want me to take the shirt off, or do you want me to leave it on? Uh, take take it half. Take half. Okay, of it's off. off. Half of it's off right uh, now. All right. I just cut it off. Actually, so is that one one side off, penis, or just penis. Up, to, up to the up to the boobs, or is it or is uh, one boob showing? Well, I I just cut it down the middle. I didn't. I wasn't thinking about it when I did it. It was all happening so fast. Is that turning you on? Yes. Yes. Me, my my me. wooden teeth are chattering. Oh, I like that chattering. What's what's what are they chattering about? Is it is it slavery? Because <laughs> uh, because that makes me hot. Huh? Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, s- sorry, I'm making myself a drink. Would you like anything? Would uh, you like a drink? Sure, I have I'd... whiskey and whiskey sours and whiskey uh, whiskey Manhattans. Oh, I'd I'd kind of like a tab. Do you have a tab? Uh, or, or a Mr. Pib? Uh, we I have Mr. Let's get some Mr. Pib. Penis, go get a Mr. Pib out of the Ooh, mini fridge. I like I'm a penis it. that can bring me a Mr. Pib out of a cold fridge. You're making me so hot right now with this half shirt. Oh. oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, baby, yeah. Shoot. Uh, oh. Dude, that was all over my <laughs> shoes, man. I, oh. 
Sorry, but they're your beach shoes. They'll clean out. Oh, Take right. them to the beach. <laughs> okay, oh, well, uh, this is a great conversation. I didn't even, I didn't even get your name. Uh, uh, no, maybe. no, you didn't. All right. Well, how do well, I? Well, is there get- is there anything else you you you'd like to talk about? Because I feel like you know may, maybe we should just discuss a, a couple of other things. Well, uh, I have I have some more shirts. Um. Uh. Yeah. Put a put a shirt on and let's uh, let's talk about uh, chemtrails. All right. <laughs> you know. Oh, that's actually my name. Oh, chemtrails. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, it's chemtrails. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, 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 penis. Write that down. Because I like to streak. We'll, uh, I like to streak. That's why they call me chemtrails. Oh, nice. Would you? Do you want to go streaking with me? In the nakeds? <laughs> I don't. I, <laughs> I don't know about it. All right. <laughs> Uh, All right. Well, I think I, I think it's my lunch break right now. Oh, mine too. <laughs> sure, sure. Because you're at work. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that was that was great. Why Tim don't Trails. you call back tomorrow, baby, around the same time, and I'll see what other shirts I can find for you. Uh, and you bring your forward. wooden penis. All right. <laughs> oh, I don't go anywhere without him. <laughs> All right, it, baby. It, I am it. It. Okay. Yeah. All right. That was creepy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Okay. I love you. I, love, love, ooh. <laughs> Wow, Gene, really. And that okay. was great. You would have Good been job, awesome. Everybody. I'm so glad you got to do that. I know. <laughs> that was great. That was exciting. I can't turn around because I got a boner. <laughs> <laughs> With your wooden With teeth? Wooden With teeth. wooden teeth. <laughs> Chemtrails. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That was good stuff. Can I call you later? Yeah. Cool. Chemtrails? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That would be weird. That's a terrible name. That's a good that's a, stripper that's a name, bad. though. Kim? Well, is it K E M or is it C H E? I didn't think about it before hmm. I said it. Right. I just want to, it's like coming to the stage, chemtrails. <laughs> and one dude in the audience is like, yeah, yeah, I guess. I told you they existed. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, man? Strippers? Should we get into that? Chemtrails? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love. Dude, have I you ever love, t- have, have you ever spoken to anybody about chemtrails? about chemtrails uh, briefly? Are, but you know, I I there's people that I always want to speak to about things, and then I'm like, I wish you weren't such a, like a weird conspiracy person about it because we can't talk normally. Like there are dudes who make like conspiracy theory videos, and a lot of the points they bring up are great, mm. but. Like either the video is shot really terribly or then they, they, like everything will be going great and then they randomly bring up something and you're like, that's ridiculous. Mm. So I don't think I've had the right conversation about it with the right person. But chemtrails are difficult to to, to, to justify. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, there there are so many angles to it. Uh, My favorite being that the amount, uh, the amount of people, over since the since the uh, invention of flight, uh, you know, at least uh, um, uh, as we know it now, you know, uh, that would have to be in on, yeah, and to what purpose, yeah, uh, but all like, and we're getting healthier. We're living longer <laughs> lives. Right. So Good whatever point. they were trying to do to us <laughs> still is trying, not working. Still trying. Um, still trying to do to but us. But if you watch those videos and you see, it, occasionally you'll see somebody um, and they'll talk they'll talk to camera. They set it up and flick the thing on and then they're explaining you have to get like a, a, a Mr. Bot, an atomizer kind of bottle uh, with like three parts cider vinegar and it has to be this certain kind of vinegar and then two parts water and... You mix it up, and then you go outside, and you know if they're let's say they're five foot eight, and their arm reaches, you know, it gives you another two feet up in the air. So they're roughly at like they're roughly at like seven feet from where the mist is starting to come out of the spray bottle, and it goes. Let's say you got a good bottle, and it goes up another, I don't know, two feet. feet. Mm-hmm. Let's say ten, ten. feet. That's because ten is okay. Ten ten's a good one. Ten, it's two for, okay. It's a right. very strong spray bottle. All right. So let's say five feet. Let's five uh, feet, let, yeah. maybe they got the bottle online. You know, from a Canadian place. Uh, doesn't have our restrictions. And uh, so now, so so roughly twelve feet. Your, your mist is it's peaking at about twelve feet, and you're reaching the chemtrails that are being left. Uh, of course, they're not chemtrails; they're contrails. But you're being, you're reaching them. They're left around thirty-seven thousand feet, 
and they're they're just spraying. They're out there going, okay, and they're talking. They're talking you through it. Here's what you want to do: you two parts cider vinegar. It has to be this one. It doesn't have that. Don't make sure it's make sure it's iodized salt. You can't. It has to be. And then and then they're just you know. Uh, uh, Desperately and and passionately spraying everything, just spraying around, spraying around, and then they'll come back out. Look, it's working, it's working. See, it's dissipating. You can see it. it and to be that that level of stupid is. Um, <laughs> and and thankfully, these people are homeschooling their kids, so it's <laughs> th- it's not going to end with them. You know, they're putting this out there for other generations to. Um, it's like flat earthers, right? It, yeah, well, that's another one that's... Uh, well, there's a NBA player. I can't remember who it is, but who's... Uh, Kyrie. Flatter. Who is it? It's Kyrie. Kyrie. No, there no, you go. True. Kyrie Irving. Yeah. He's a flatter. Is he? Really? I yeah. believe so. Yeah. It is true. He's going to be on the cover of uh, the new... Uh, whatever, the NBA uh, video game for oh, 2018. A flat earther. Wow. Yeah. Good for you, e sports, <laughs> EA sports, whatever. Um, yeah, like how? What? I know a guy, and he's. Uh, I, I wouldn't say we're close, but I've known him for years and years and years, and they, he's a really fun guy to hang out with. Haven't seen him in quite a while. I actually, did this tattoo up here, and uh, uh, old friend from Atlanta, and he. Cool. That's a good tattoo. Thank you. He b- truly believes that we the moon landing was faked, and. Uh, uh, it's just top one there. And he believes the moon landing was faked and you can't argue with him. And he gets frustrated and angry that you're not buying it. He's, and he, he's like, now you think I'm crazy. And I might know. be with him on that one. Uh, Wait. Not a flat earther. You think the moon landing we was can't, faked? We don't have that kind of time. Um, I know that we but don't. we do. Here. We do. We do at another <laughs> at another point in time. We can have that conversation. So why is nope. that? Okay, why is is that logical? But then chemtrails are not logical or flat I, I Earth. Well, I wouldn't go that route. I would just ask you, uh, what's the point of the whole conspiracy? Like, what's so crazy about the idea of? building a rocket and going to the... Moon. No, I don't think that there's anything crazy about it. Uh, do you think that... I mean, do you know that in our phones we have the computing power? No, I listen, I'm, I'm down with... Uh, is, this the, is this the <laughs> Van Alden belt thing? Are you, is this... Because that's what my friend is I'm gonna, like. I'm going to shortly... Van Alden, you can't, a man cannot sustain that kind of radiation. Yeah, that kind of no, stuff. No, I'm not going to... No, I think that uh, technology exists to do all of these things. I'm just, I'm just saying that that specific one did not happen in the way that they said it happened. That's all. And was well, yeah, all what, the people that helped stage it, were they killed? All the people who knew the truth? No. But, I mean, there are a lot of people alive who know the truth about a lot of things who were not did, murdered all the time. Did you hear about this thing where, um, the you know, the UFO sightings uh, that were happening, like, in the 70s and 80s and all that jazz? There were a lot. Yeah, a lot. And apparently they were, it was the government that was putting them out there because they wanted to test new uh, aircraft and they didn't, and it it had to be secret against the Russians. Did you hear about this? No. And so they they, they like told these stories to people so that they could produce the mimetic pattern back to that. He did a full circle on you guys. Um, that made people believe that what they saw were UFOs when really what they were seeing was top secret stuff that the government was doing. That you know I about fully believe that's, in that. That's that sounds makes fine. Total Completely. sense. Total yeah. sense. So what is it about, what, where did, what did you hear that made you feel I'm telling, like I'm telling you story? we don't have enough time for this. We, we actually, and, I, and, we, I, and I have zero beverages right now. <laughs> um, well, let's, uh, let's carry this on. Let's yeah. go to the, uh, uh, there's the bar, the Soho, what is it called? The Soho Bar on, uh, on Spring. Bar Soho. And, bar Soho, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, spring and... Uh, the one that's on the, the, that old one on the corner? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go there because I, I want to get into this. Me We're going to wrap this up here. Are we? Are we? Uh, that's it? I got, I got the signal from oh, there. Oh, you did? I got the old... <sighs> Wrap so we're coming signal. back tomorrow, right? Um, I'm going upstate. I'm going right from here to Penn Station, but I'm going to detour to learn how to uh, ride a bike. To ride to learn how to ride a bike. Uh, 
in yeah, the well, open. Because upstate, <laughs> the, when you fall off your bike, it's... Uh, There's a pile of leaves, and it's, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Of, and upstate and you is frolic made of mattresses. And, leaves, yeah. and his and, dad lives there. Yeah. My dad does not live there. No. Oh, I see. I feel like bit. we need to do a follow-up episode where Fab teaches Gene how to ride a bike, and we'll, we'll do a video podcast yes. for that. And Gene convinces us that the moon landing is <laughs> fake. Yes. Yeah. So welcome time. to your new show. Yeah, that's basically, you're just going to talk about it. That's going to calm you as you do your bike lesson. It won't. Yo, wait. You should, we should combine the two. Yeah. While you're learning to ride a bike, you should tell us why the moon landing yeah. and how yeah. the moon landing was faked. While you're learning to ride a bike. Do you guys just bike. not like me or why would you want we me to do you. that? We love you. you. First of all, you're going to come out of it unscathed and you're going to learn how to ride a bike. That's the best thing that can happen. And we're going to love like, riding I want, a bike. Let me tell you something. I fucking no, I know love I'm riding my love bike it. in New York. I, I love I'd be, it. I'd be able to get everywhere. I will do, okay, but I want knee pads. I want a helmet. Okay, we'll get you done. I want elbow pads. I want like a whole suit. Done. We'll get you a hazmat suit. Yeah. We'll get you a a space suit. A space suit. The kind okay. that they use, okay. the space actors suit, use. A space suit made of Sonos landing. speakers. Done. How about that? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is, uh, this is really come. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much to Gene, to David, to Fab, to Sonos for hosting us here. This is, I have to admit, like when you guys first arrived, I was like, you're David, you know both people. I wasn't quite sure how this conversation was going to go. Definitely wasn't what I had in mind, that it was going to be both probably the most informative and the most erotic episode we've ever done. Um, but thank Highly you. This, this was like very, very special. And for me, Nick Dawson, David Cross, Jean Grey, Fab Moretti. We learned a lot. Over and out. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. All right. Thank you. <laughs>